having done this this work, this important mm-hmm. work for that long, what's been the most rewarding thing that you've seen, not just mm-hmm. from an individual client, but just kind of the work that you're doing, society as a whole? What 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 can we look forward to? Like sometimes we just need some good news, Angela. Yes. We've gotta we gotta hear the good stuff. So what's been the good stuff yeah. in your your body of work? I tell you, there's so much, Kristen. I mean, we could do a whole podcast on the good news of mindful leadership and we mindful mojo. Okay. Let's do that, y'all. I like that. Um, one of the things that really touches my heart is when I get an email or a conversation with a family member and they say, what did you do with my dad? Like he's a whole different person. So it's not just like the workplace culture, but family members who've known this person up close and personal. And they're saying, we have a whole different life now. What did you do with my wife? She's just so different. We have such a better marriage yeah. because of the work you did on her leadership in the workplace. That is yeah. so gratifying because you begin to see the ripple effects that it's having. And then of course on the children, right? It, it has yeah. so much. I had a client of mine recently, she said, and it was so funny. She's a C-suite executive and she, she said, she goes, I've got an odd question. I was like, what? She goes, my husband wants to know if we can all have dinner because he really likes what you're working on. We, but it was the same uh. thing. It was just how that ripple effect. And we, we don't really think about it when we're working with executives and mm-hmm. business owners and all that is is how it ripples in the world. It really Isn't does. Isn't that fun, though? It is so fun. It is so fun. And in fact, I have gotten so many requests in the last year and a half from executives like YPO and executive yeah. groups yeah. to come in and talk to these leaders about mindful parenting. Like that's I think on that their, would be a big one. Yeah, it's on their radar, yeah. right? So they yeah. want us to come in and help them in the workplace, but they're also, you know, the work-life balance and trying to find that, you know, balance there is, yeah. is can be difficult. It is, it's hard, I think, as I would be, I'd be a good te- test case for that one because <laughs> I feel like I do that well professionally, mm-hmm. the mindful leadership. Mm-hmm. I think as a parent, I had, and my kids are older now, unfortunately, <laughs> I didn't do that as a parent. Mm. And that trickle down effect that we were supposed to have from learning this professionally never trickled down for me. So it's, I think the way I parent my child, I have one child still at home. I think the way I parent her Mm -hmm. is very different than I parented my older two. And it's not that I'm a different person. It's just, I think I'm more in tune and more mindful of everything I'm doing from a parent. Cause I yeah. was very authoritative with the older two. Yes. You know, and it's, you don't get that time back, right? So I think if, especially with like a YPO organization, oh my gosh, you guys could do incredible work with that because it's yeah. so needed. Like we're right. so busy yeah. that we aren't present anymore. Well, you know, a couple of things that you said, Kristen, you know, as we evolve and grow, you know, we know better. As Maya Angela said, when we know yeah. better, we do better. So I always, yeah encourage people to give themselves grace when it comes to their parenting because you know we were young when we started parenting and so it's wonderful that you're on the other side of it and can look back now and and realize you know here's what I would like to do moving forward it's I'm pretty good about well I wasn't always good about giving me grace my coach helped me with that on giving grace yourself because it is Mm -hmm. you look back and when you learn and evolve you learn all these things and you you think back you're like oh my gosh how cool would parenting have been Mm-hmm. You know, marriage, dating, friendships, yeah. business, all of it. You know, corporate, yeah. all of that. If we had just paid attention to this earlier. Yes, yeah. so, and what I'm seeing in the workplace now, and I'm wondering if you are too, in the corporate culture, is that we're looking at leaders now, just not just as business leaders, but as a whole person, and understanding that it all impacts one another. Yeah. It's not the '90s anymore, where they said park it at the door. Right. Boards are understanding that leaders are human beings too. And I think that's yeah. interesting because, you know, we, we've gone through so many styles of leadership, you know, having mm-hmm. been in business for, you know, since we were two, we, um, we, we evolved. We went yeah. from, you know, dictator type leadership <laughs> to the, you know, separate the silos. You're, oh, yes. You've got your yeah. work life and your home, mm-hmm. you know, and I used to, I remember people saying, well, I have two hats, you know, I've got I've got my work hat on. I've got, I'm like, I've yeah. literally got one hat. It's in, I'm a, what mm-hmm. you see is what you get type of person. Yes. So that was always hard for me. This is more, way more natural for kind of how I am, mm-hmm. but you kind of forget yeah. how it all trickles out. It all works in tandem with each other. And that's why, you know, the, the term authentic leadership is yeah. making such a head wave too, because yeah. they, you know, people want to know who you really are. Because if we think about building cultures of trust, They want to trust that you're showing up in all of who you are. 